Jacks, what's up? So today I'm back with another poem explanation that is Count That Day Lost. So today we are going to discuss this poem which is written by George Ellett. I'm going to read out two lines to you each and I'm going to explain you the meaning. And yes, remember my friends, this is a little complicated poem, slightly complicated and uh, confusing. So stay tuned till the end of the video. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Without wasting any nanosecond, let us proceed. If you sit down at set of sun and count the acts that you have done, and counting find one self-denying deed, one word that eased the heart of him who heard, one glance most kind that felt like sunshine where it went, then you may count that day well spent. So now the poet is describing here that once at the end of the day, once you sit down at the set of sun. Now, what does this mean? Set of sun means some kids or some children or even some adults like looking at the sunset if it is visible from their homes. So usually when we sit back at at the end of the day to reflect, to look at ourselves, when we look at that, and we realize that we have done one kind act or we have said one small word which has eased the heart, meaning which has, got, which has brought a smile to one's face. So here, bringing smile to one's face is referred to as felt like sunshine. So you made that person smile in such a way that you brightened his or her day. So now uh, he is he is saying that even if you have even said one small word to make someone happy, helped someone, done one, uh, done a self-denying deed. Now, what is a self-denying deed? Here it means something that helps others instead of helping oneself. So without any uh, any expectations or any business relations in your mind, you are helping that person. So this is known as self-denying deed. Without any expectations, you are doing something. So if that is bringing happiness to someone, if it is brightening someone's day, or if it is if uh, if the person person's day is getting or if the person's life is getting changed because of that one word, then you can count that day well spent. So that means. Even if you have not done anything the whole day, you have wasted your time, but you have helped someone by ye or nay. We will come back to that. But you have helped someone and that person has felt very good about it. Then you can count that day well spent. So that means that was the best day of your life. And you should thank God that you got an opportunity to help someone or something through difficult times. Now let us go to the second paragraph. But if... Through all the live long day, you have cheered no heart by ye or nay. If through it all, you've nothing done that you can trace, that brought the sunshine to one face. No act most small that helped some soul and nothing cost. Then count that day as worse than lost. So now here it's kind of a contradictory poem. Here in the first paragraph, the poet is describing the pros of or the positive points of helping someone or somebody and it can help our day count but but in on the other hand if you're not helping anyone all through the live long day means all throughout the day the whole day you haven't helped anybody out gave alms to somebody or gave help to somebody did charity or at least said yes or no now what does this line mean over here you have cheered no heart by ye or nay so even yes or no is very powerful it can help somebody to come on the right path and if they are used correctly then it can help anybody and including you so you have not shared any heart even or if you haven't guided anyone even by saying yes or no or you haven't even said one word or the smallest of act you haven't done even a smallest of act you haven't even helped uh, you let's say an ant you haven't even helped an ant this is an exaggeration so you haven't even helped one small living creature or a human being so you can count that day as worse than loss so that was the worst day that was the most unproductive day 
So if so, the poet is describing here. In order to make your day count, you have to be kind, and all the so and so list which has been mentioned before. जो पीछे मैंने बताया है, अगर वो आपने किया है, then you can count that day well spent. Now, so that helped some soul and nothing cost. So now we usually help people. and it does not cost us or that person anything so why not help the people but even uh, with by knowing that it will cost you nothing you do not have to pay anything but still you are not helping that person out or you are not bringing a smile to one's face so then you can count that day as worst than lost okay so these things do not cost us anything and it is not even harming us it is not even taking our energy it's just a small it's a matter of just a thank you or a hello or a sweet little hi or a greeting or helping somebody get in the right path giving the correct advice to somebody by saying yes or no so or by by helping that person out or by giving alms to that person so these are the main points which i'm emphasizing on and these are the things that will make your count day count and the wise sabers are that we read so this is actually a, this is this was the poem count that day lost written by george elliot and my review for this poem is this that this is a very thoughtful poem and it is telling us both about the pros and the cons that is the positive and the negative point of helping the person and not helping the person out so this is comparing things it is this poem is comparing by by helping somebody or being unkind by helping somebody selflessly or with a selfish selfish heart so what all happens so usually we think by working or by by achieving something we are spending our day very well or sometimes some people think by spending time with their family you are spending your day very well but yes this all does count but the thing which is the most important in the day is when you are helping somebody so imagine the whole live long day the whole life every day you do one good deed imagine how noble soul you are it's not important to give money or to give lakhs and lakhs of rupees one small teen daily leads to big results so one small little help is going to lead to big results it's going to make you very very noble and and you are going to be a very kind hearted person and any anything any the smallest of act can uh, can be counted as a good deed and the poet here he uh, he is indirectly saying that even one one drop of one drop of water makes an ocean so helping someone every day in small quantities can make you a very good person and develop this leadership and compassionate qualities within you so you must help someone in order to count that day and if you are not through all this explanation then you can count that day worse than lost so this was the poem count that day lost with my review and explanation and this was this is written by george elliot and hope you enjoy today's episode until next time it's me zooming out so bye and have a nice day